Hi everyone, I'm Christine and this is Christine Says A Lot. Today is makeover day and this is the before. <laughs> I am going to the salon to get a major hairstyle change. If you've been following me, then you know the struggle has been real for me to tame my hair while it's long. It can be curly, it can be frizzy, it can look great, and it can look a hot mess. And I have to admit that most of the time it looks a hot mess despite putting lots of time and effort into it. So I am just going to get a big old haircut and a style change and see if I can get something cute that works with my very thick hair. So that's what's coming up. I will pop on later today after I've had the redo, but I wanted to show you my latest make. I finally made myself a pair of the Hudson pants. I know. <laughs> I've made this pattern at least 15 times in the mini Hudson version and the men's Hudson version combined. And I finally made a pair for myself. I wanted to make a high waist pair. I was afraid that it would be unflattering where the waistband would hit if I didn't make the adjustments. And True Bias has all the instructions you need on their website and I encourage you to go ahead and give it a try. So let me show you my pattern pieces so that you can see the adjustments. I'll show you the front pattern piece first. So here's the front pattern piece. She gives you very clear instructions on how to do this. You come up two inches from the side here where the crotch curve is, and then you draw a line and you take that straight out and blend in right here on this side. And you'll take note of some measurements. So this will change depending on what size you're making. And I think it might change depending on whether you're doing the curve range like me, or if you're doing the standard zero through 20 size range. So for me, I had 1.75 inches by the time I got to the notch where the pocket piece would go and also here on the end. So I made that adjustment to this piece. And again, she has all the instructions on how to do it. I just thought it might be helpful to see this. So here's my pocket facing. It was a real easy adjustment. I used some tracing paper underneath and I just lined it up with this matching this notch on the side and having it come up how it should and retracing and cutting out my piece. The other thing with the pocket facing is because I'm extending it this high and she gives you these instructions, that would make a really long and deep pocket and so she just has you measure up an inch, I believe it was, and blend to here. So I've got my new pocket facing. And again, you need to draw a new main pocket. Cut you. Then for the back piece, so here's my back piece. I extended my piece the same amount, which for me was an inch and three quarters, that was on the front piece on this side edge. And I did a line straight across, which for me happened to meet up with the actual line for my size on the back. And I love the fit. So I encourage you, if you have been like me, a little late to the party on the Hudson pants because you were not too sure how that adjustment would go, give it a try. I love mine. I will have a couple changes and that's mainly because I'm 5'4". I want to take a little length out of my next pair and I think I'll make the cuff a little bit shorter, not quite as tall. 
I used some very inexpensive French terry that I purchased to make an outfit for my grandson who loves astronauts. He is five. I think he was three and a half at the time that I purchased the fabric. And I did not like the quality at all. Recently, I needed to test sizes for some of the grandchildren, so I used some of this fabric to test out a size. And I thought, well, that's what I'm gonna do for me. If I have enough of this, I'll sew it all in this fabric. If I don't have enough, I will patch together different pieces of fabric so that I'm not digging into my more expensive fabric for testing out the pattern. Well, I had enough of the astronaut fabric and I really liked the fit. Other than, as I said, I will take some length out of it and I think I'm gonna shorten the cuffs. So I'm gonna move over to the hallway where I have room to stand and I'm gonna show you my Hudson pants. So these are my True Bias high-waisted Hudson pants. I do really like them. I have tucked the front of my shirt in so that you can see how high-waisted they are. I'm five foot four, and this is where my belly button is. I like them this high. This works really well with the more cropped sweatshirts. I have a couple of Jarrah sweaters that I really like. They are a little bit cropped, but with this high-waisted jogger, there's not gonna be any flash of skin. So I'm gonna give a little twirl for you. Now, this is super cheap fabric, a little bit of a novelty print. I did purchase it with a three-year-old in mind. And I didn't take a ton of time pattern matching. I couldn't help myself. I did a little bit, and I think I did a better job on the back than on the front. I was just doing estimates. But I have no plans on wearing these outside of the house with the exception of dog walking in the morning, which I've already done. And also when I top stitched the waistband, I just did this super quick. I didn't take my usual time and care because I just needed to ensure that the stitches would not pop and that the waistband would not roll on me. So I'm giving this two thumbs up and I've got more of these in the future for me. Hello, I'm back from the salon. I had quite a bit of hair chopped off. I'm gonna insert a photo of a pile of hair. Why you'd wanna see that, I don't know. I took the photo. Hopefully this hairstyle will be a little easier for me to maintain. Charlie likes it and that's important to me. I am wearing two items from my 2022 Make 9 Challenge. I've got on the Nika top by True Bias and my favorite make from 2022, the Ilford jacket by the Friday Pattern Company. This weekend, I'll be posting a video of a wrap up of my 2022 Make 9 and my goals for 2023. If you wanna see a video showing my make nine list for 2022. You can see it in the end cards. Until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and to find the good in all things, especially sewing. Bye.